Africa, we are rich in our culture and it has been exhibited. I want to thank you and good morning to you all. Good morning. I have the pleasure and honor on behalf of the Council of Ministers of the African Regional Intellectual Property Organization, ARIPO, to address you all at this 19th session of Council of Ministers taking place here in Gaborone in the Republic of Botswana. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to our guest of honor, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Botswana, Dr. Masisi, for making time to officially open this 19th session of ARIPO Council of Ministers. Your Excellency say, your presence at this function is a mark of recognition of the role of ARIPO as a driver of the development of the development of intellectual property system in its member states and in Africa as a whole. We are also aware of your personal commitment to the cause of intellectual property, which denotes a clear understanding of its role in economic development. Your Excellency, allow me to extend our deep appreciation to my counterpart, the Honorable Musi Kafela, Minister of Trade and Industry of the Republic of Botswana for his continued support to all ARIPO programs. I also like to acknowledge the support rendered by the companies and the Intellectual Property Authority of Botswana and officials from other departments of the government of Botswana. Your Excellency said we are grateful for the warm hospitality and the excellent facilities which have been placed at the disposal of all delegates to ensure a comfortable stay in the beautiful city of Gaberon. Let me also take this opportunity to extend my appreciation to the Director General of ARIPO, Mr. Tukwebase, and the dedicated staff of ARIPO for the outstanding work and arrangements made to ensure the success of this meeting. I wish to particularly commend Mr. Webaze for his visionary leadership that I have no doubt will take our organization to greater heights. Your Excellency said, the Republic of Zimbabwe has had the honor of chairing the Council of Ministers during the last two years. I will therefore be relinquishing the chairmanship of the Council of Ministers during this session. It has been an honor, Your Excellency, and a rewarding experience for the Republic of Zimbabwe to serve as Chair of Council of Ministers of Aribo, an organization that Zimbabwe is privileged to host for the last 41 years. I would like to thank Member States for the honor and trust reposed on Zimbabwe. As you may know, Zimbabwe was also the Chair of the Administrative Council during the last two years. Allow me, therefore, to take this opportunity to thank the outgoing chairperson, Mr. William Shai, for his exemplary leadership. He has, <laughs> he has been constantly updating me on his engagements, and I know that he worked hand in hand with the Director General of ARIPO and the entire membership of the Administrative Council to register the achievements that the organization registered during the period under review. Your Excellency said the achievements of ARIPO give us confidence that the organization is repositioning itself as an intellectual property hub on the African continent. For this reason, it is paramount that ARIPO be recognized at the continental level, level in view of its role in advancing intellectual property among its member states and Africa as a whole. We are aware that the agreement establishing the African Continental Free Trade Area provides for a protocol on intellectual property rights that envisages the creation of a Continental Intellectual Property Office. In view of the role played by ARIPO and the gains already recorded, the creation of another competing IP office may be superfluous and not save the real interest of the continent in achieving intra-African trade. This session should therefore reflect on further engagements to ensure that the continent leverages the progress recorded by ARIPO. Your Excellency, 
Today we are pleased to welcome the Republic of Cape Verde who joined ARIPO in July 2022. I have also been reliably informed that membership drive is going on well through high-level engagements of, of observer states and we are hopeful that in our next session we shall have new members in our midst. Your Excellency say, as I conclude, I would like once again to express my utmost appreciation for the Government of Botswana for hosting ARIPO, governing bodies and the unwavering support rendered to our organization. I wish to say that it has been a great privilege to serve ARIPO.